Irving to the Lakers has been a rumor and speculation for the last year. Uh, it's the worst kept secret in the league that Kyrie and LeBron James want to play together again. Uh, there's so much talk and just potential for Kyrie to come to the Lakers. And that is a real thing that could still end up happening. Uh, it's a little bit of gymnastics in order for Kyrie to come to the Lakers. But the Lakers could make it happen if they really wanted to. But we hear the constant reports of like, hey... It's not the Lakers. The Lakers don't want anything to do with Kyrie Irving. It's LeBron James heavily pushing for Kyrie Irving. And the whole Kyrie situation is very interesting because Kyrie and Luka were a disaster. And that's not Kyrie's fault. It's not even really Luka's fault. Uh, it was just, one, you traded away essentially all your defense to go get Kyrie Irving. Uh, on top of that, you put these two guys that are used to playing a specific way, especially Luka Doncic, who's one of the most highest usage players ever, like ever. <laughs> and for him to go from that to like, oh, hey, let me delegate and take a step back for a guy in Kyrie Irving. So there's a lot of thoughts and questions that like, hey, if Kyrie and Luka have a full season under their belt with the right pieces around them, they could be scary. They could win an NBA championship. Luka and, you know, several role guys were able to get to the Western Conference Finals, you know, what, two years ago? So it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two together could really make some noise. But these two could also add a third option. Again, it's not a secret at all that Kyrie and LeBron want to play together. It is going to be very unlikely, very challenging, very difficult for Kyrie and LeBron to play in Los Angeles. But according to recent reports from Chris Haynes, Kyrie Irving wants Dallas Mavericks to trade for LeBron James. That Kyrie Irving wants the Mavs uh, to come or to go after and get LeBron James, which would make a trio of LeBron, Kyrie, and Luka. Now, that would be fun to watch, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it would be very interesting because it would probably be a total dumpster fire. Um, now, LeBron has said in the past that Luka is his favorite player, that the player that resembles him the most in this league is Luka, and he's right, right? High usage, sizable forward that's playing guard that can do a little bit of everything, right? Now, Luka isn't the defender that LeBron was at, at that age, but still, very similar. He's closer to, you know, a LeBron James, Luka Magic, right? Magic Johnson, stuff like that. Closer to that regards than he is like a Kobe or a Jordan or, you know, somebody like that. So that, okay, I get it. And to have LeBron as like a mentor the last few years, I think would elevate Luka tremendously, right? LeBron with his hands on Luka could probably mold Luka into <laughs> the best player in the league, uh, hands down, right? And so that aspect, I think, would make a lot of sense for Dallas. You bring in LeBron, you try to go for a push for, you know, a year or two, uh, and then once he leaves, hopefully Luka's absorbed all of that knowledge and just high IQ from LeBron James to, to kind of transition into that better player or just find that winningness, Right, like, because LeBron is a guy that he had to go to like a Miami to learn how to win. He had to have that mentor. It takes guys learning how to win, and through and a lot of it's through struggles and things like that, but also through mentors. Right, like LeBron learned how to win from Dwayne Wade. That was huge for him. That changed the course of his career in many ways. Luca could get the same thing where LeBron can kind of teach him how to win and be impactful. Then LeBron gets what he wants. He's happy. Kyrie gets to gets to uh, get the reunion with LeBron James. Uh, LeBron James, we know, wants to play with Kyrie, so then I'm sure LeBron would be super happy. But again, this is probably the worst big three you could think of. If you thought Kyrie, if or sorry, if you thought LeBron James and Russell Westbrook were terrible, I don't even want to imagine what Luka and LeBron would be. And now you might be thinking, like, it sounds great, okay, for a couple reasons. One, LeBron James wants to play second fiddle, right? He doesn't want to be the guy. He could go to Dallas and he could be third fiddle if he wants. Um, 
you know, so LeBron doesn't want the ball handling duties. He wants to play off the ball more. He doesn't, he wants to, he doesn't want to have to have and carry all the workload, which if he went to Dallas, he wouldn't have to do. He wouldn't have to do any of that. Uh, And LeBron James, you saw him actually make that sacrifice throughout the course of even the playoffs this year for the Lakers. So he's honest about that. You know, he, I mean, he was playing off the ball super heavily. Problem is, is he's still going to want the ball at times. He still is what? Is he going to just go from being still a, a quality usage guy, a higher usage guy, to like, I'm just going to stand in the corner or be a slasher and play off of Luka? Like, yeah, it would be great when Luka is not on the court because then you're going from Luka to LeBron James. <laughs> like, good luck. But still, like, Luka isn't a great three-point shooter. Uh, you know, LeBron isn't a great three-point shooter. Kyrie, where does he fit in the scope of this? Um, you know, because it was, it was clunky with Luka and Kyrie. I think it would be even clunkier with Luka, LeBron, and Luka's not very, he hasn't been good playing off the ball. He's not like super quick to where he could be a slasher cutter or something like that, right? Like his, his pace and just the way he plays is not really made to be the secondary off ball guy, right? So I just don't see this being a, a winning formula. Like if anything to me, this would be something where it's like, oh, like LeBron comes, keeps Kyrie happy so he stays, but also Luca gets to gets to like have that mentor to hopefully take him to the next level. Right? And it shows like we are committed to go all in. But I don't even think Dallas would think that that, that this would work. Now, if it did for whatever reason, that would just good luck. <laughs> Cause like I said, I mean, you could always have one of LeBron and Luca on the court at all times. So, like, how do you beat that? <laughs> right? Like, in theory. I just think it would be super clunky. The new CBA makes it so you basically have these three guys and then two vet minimum guys around them. Uh granted it'd only be two years. Dallas, uh, if depending on what they sign Kyrie for, you know, could have some cap space and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe work some stuff, but it just, it doesn't make any sense. And even the report almost sounds like a made up report, but this is like a real report from Chris Haynes. But it says at one point that the uh, Dallas Mavericks were preparing to make an offer for LeBron James uh, when the Lakers were spiraling. Now, uh, it also says that, um, you know, uh, and that was even despite uh, in a, an eligible for trade for LeBron James <laughs> after the extension, right? And that was a th- real thing. So, like, a lot of people were like, why don't the Lakers just trade LeBron James? And it was like, they can't. He's He literally cannot be traded because of when he signed the extension. So he was stuck on the Lakers last year. So that's why it doesn't make sense that, like, it, it basically in the report has like a a contradictory <laughs> whole paragraph where it's like yeah the Mavs were preparing to make an offer for LeBron James it, what it, like did was Dallas getting ready to make an offer for LeBron and then just and then finally realize like oh we can't trade for him and if so like what were they going to trade like cuz that's the thing the the biggest fact and the reason one this isn't going to happen Right, like the only way that Dallas really has a way of actually getting LeBron James is if LeBron James like requested a buyout or something like that. If he requested a buyout or something, then yeah, he could go sign with Dallas. But outside of like a buyout, um, it's just it's not happening because Dallas would have to get the money in order to to go and trade for LeBron, and LeBron's going to make almost $50 million. Uh, the CBA would butcher them. Secondly, who like who do the Lakers want that are on the Dallas Mavericks? Right? Like, Christian Wood's a free agent, so they could just go and sign Christian Wood. Like, who, like, who else on 
the Dallas Mavericks would the Lakers even remotely want, right? Like, because if you're trading LeBron James, you're rebuilding. You're not contending for a championship this year. I mean, unless you're trading him for another star. Like, if you were trading LeBron for Luka, then yeah, then absolutely. But that's not that's not the idea. That's not going to happen. Like, Dallas isn't going to trade Luka for LeBron, and, you know, it wouldn't make sense for them to do that. So... The, what they want, what they want to do is they basically want to trade everybody else and go get LeBron James. Like it just doesn't make any sense. So, like, yeah, you could get a couple draft picks, but you imagine Dallas is going to be pretty good, so those draft picks are probably going to be terrible. And then outside of that, like, you don't want a Josh Green, you don't want like a Jaden Hardy, like, you know, who who else? Tim Hardaway Jr. makes no sense if you're going for a rebuild. You know, neither does, like, Kleber. It just... So, one, they don't have the assets that would make sense for the Lakers to go and make that trade. Uh, You could probably get a better return. I mean, you could get a better return from the Warriors, right? If you're going to trade LeBron anywhere, you might might as well trade him the Warriors because the Warriors might end up saying, okay, we'll give you whatever you want, essentially, and then let him go create a big four. But for Dallas, it doesn't... It just doesn't make any sense. Like, Dallas just doesn't have the the assets to go and acquire a LeBron James. Although Dallas does have, what, they have, like, the 10th pick in this year's draft. They get to keep their pick because it fell in the top 10. Um, so, I mean, you could get, uh, a, you'd have, you could have, like, the 10th and the 17th pick. But still, like, I like is that worth it? So, you're basically trading LeBron for a rookie this year? I, I just don't think that that's the... That makes a lot of sense to the Lakers when you could probably get better packages for LeBron even at the, at his age, uh, even at this point in his career. And I don't know why Dallas would even want that. Like, I don't. Because if anything, you could run the risk of upsetting Luka. Because Luka's like, man, like LeBron's coming in. He's lead GM. He's lead coach. He's taken over. Like, this is supposed to be my team. Right, like, and now it's LeBron. It's the LeBron and Kyrie show because you know LeBron's immediately going to gravitate back towards Kyrie, and Kyrie and him are going to be, you know, have their bromance again. Like, and then Luca's probably the odd man out, and then if things are going bad, you know LeBron's going to want to take over. We saw that with, you know, even this Lakers team. He, as much as he sacrificed, as much as he changed, he still resorted back to who he was. I don't know. I just I think this is just like a fun report just to like have some news and some conversation. It's not going to happen. Uh it doesn't make any sense for the Lakers. It doesn't make any sense for Dallas. It doesn't make any sense for Luka. If Kyrie and LeBron end up playing together, it's going to be in Los Angeles and it's going to be cuz the Lakers just cave. So outside of that, don't expect it. Don't hold your breath. Uh but just a fun report that I wanted to talk talk about and also this could just be a sort of a a leverage play for LeBron. Like, I could see LeBron and Kyrie kind of scheming together. You know, you see Kyrie jumping in a car with Phil Handy, and then you get all the reports of like, oh, Kyrie to the Lakers is still alive. And, I mean, this just seems like something that LeBron and Kyrie would cook up of like, hey, look, if if you don't get me Kyrie, I might go to Dallas. I might ask for a buy. I might ask for a trade. If you're the Lakers, you're like, please, like, you know, not because I don't, I still think LeBron is an incredible talent, incredible top five player, but like, you, you're not trading him to Dallas. <laughs> like, you know, if you're going, like, if he wants out and you're going to trade him, you're trading him to actually get the best return possible. You know, it's like, hey, man, we got you under cotton. You could, you're going to have to ride it out for a year. Plus, LeBron has never made a trade or requested a trade his entire career. He's always ob- he's always lived up to his obligations for his contract. So, you know, you're talking about a guy that would basically have to break that mold after the Lakers just turned it around. I don't see it. I think this is just complete, just like n- either a nonsense report just to like get people talking or it was orchestrated to kind of gain some leverage. But anyway, how do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below.